nobody's cleaned the floor in a while. Or perhaps ever. It's Sally. She's fast asleep. <sighs> to be fair, it is four in the morning. I agreed to stay awake and see if anyone shows up. So far, nothing. It's some book Sally's been reading. She insisted that we bring it with us, although I'm not sure why. X of the Helmsman by J.D. Werman. Looks like Sally's read through it a couple of times already. I wonder what's so interesting about it. It's the case file. The reason we're here. It was left for us right here on the bar. Seafoam. As far as I know, that's who hired us. And who left the case file here in the inn. But where are they now? Where is anyone? Sally, what do you think? Um. Great contribution. I thought I heard something outside. Hello? There's an eerie green light trying to lure us outside. Oh, that's a pretty good reason. I'll get up. It's a billboard for a theater. Baroness Fortuna presents Fortuna Hall. Performing tonight, Waylon Wolf. Oh, tonight? Yeah, we didn't come all this way to go to the theater. Also, the sign is several years old. There's something in the water. What is it? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's the source of the green light. Is that...? A submarine. I think I can see someone standing on the deck. Maybe we should go take a look. Looks like it originally said sea foam, but that got crossed out and now it says Mortuga. I'm getting mutiny vibes from this, I don't know about you. It's the wrong way around. What? Take another look at the case file. Looks like it originally I'm getting the what? wrong. Take another look at the case file. An old wooden boy. With a face. This is where the green light was coming from. I noticed it started to fade as soon as we stepped onto the deck. So it's a boy that doubles as a lighthouse? 
The opposite, really. A lighthouse warns you to stay away, but this thing lured us in. An old rowing boat. Or. Or what? Or. It only has one oar. Oh! There's nobody here. The door's open, though. Somebody must have opened it after the submarine surfaced. Does that constitute an invitation? Ready, Sally? What's at the bottom of the ladder? I can't see. It's pitch black. Should we go back up? Wait, I think there's a lever. I guess this is what lights up the room when you pull the switch. I wonder what they burned to make it pink. Wow. What is that? The smell. It smells weird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It smells like... It's kind of earthy. Damp. Well, it's an old painting. Old things smell. It's just weird because we're in a submarine. But it smells like soil. A glass of wine. Ominously left half finished. Maybe the wine was corked ominously corked. It's like an old-fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. It's short for withdrawing, as in you withdraw there after dinner. I actually never knew that. I think this door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. Well... You can't. It's locked. It's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine. Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. Do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Why would they do that? It's a window into the control room. Is there anyone in there? I can't see. Let's head to the crime scene first. Three tables, arranged into a Z shape. It's actually more like an S from this angle. Oh, maybe they were trying to write my name, but they ran out of tables. Pufferfish lamp. A timeless classic. This looks like dead coral. Is coral ever alive? Coral are marine animals, dude. What? Pots and pans for cooking. Hey, it's a kitchen. We didn't have one of those last time. What? Nothing. It's a big metal statue of a serpent. There is a cabinet built into it, but I think it's locked.
Nope. Four dials, with a window in the center of each one. Turning each dial rotates the shapes that appear in the surrounding windows. What do those numbers mean, though? That was it. Nice work. The little cabinet opened. Anything in there? Someone taped the drawing to the wall. I think it's supposed to be a poster.
The stool's been knocked over. Doesn't it look familiar to you? Sally, it's a standard wooden stool. I don't... It looks exactly like the bar stools in the stone top end. A trail of blood. Looks like it came from the wound in Mortuga's neck. It runs straight down the room towards the back of the submarine. No, it doesn't. Not immediately. It pulls out first, then changes its mind. There's a little broken bottle on the floor. I'm guessing Mortuga dropped this when he died. There's a cloth hanging up on the wall. Are those footprints? Someone's hung up a banner with the words Illusion Theater painted on it. What's the illusion, I wonder? You know, I think this room's had some kind of rebranding. Rebranding from what? What was it before? Possibly nothing. A small room like this wouldn't normally have a name at all. There's a wooden panel on the wall here. Can you see anything through that little hole? No, it's too dark. It's a little window, and looks out into the endless, dark void of the ocean. Why did you phrase it like that? I don't know. This is the cauldron? Not quite what I was expecting. said it had never been unlocked before. We can't leave. Why not? And because this is the last room in the demo. We can't leave. Why not? And because this is the last room in the demo. Looks runs straight down the room towards... No, it doesn't. Not immediately. It pulls out first, then changes its mind. So, this is where Magnus Mortuga died. It's just like the case file said. He landed on his back with the cauldron at his feet. He was killed by getting cut across the neck, right? Yeah. You can see that's where the blood came from. But there's no weapon. No knife or anything. Nothing. This place gives me the creeps. That cauldron especially. I keep staring into it like I'm going to see something. But it really does seem to be empty. To quote from the case file, Motuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced open, and the body was discovered. So Mortuga was alone in a locked room. A very small locked room. There really isn't anywhere for a murderer to hide. I'm not so sure. I think there is a hiding place. Captain Seafoam locked Magnus Mortuga and was killed by what was inside. That's not right.
Magnus Mortuga locked the cauldron and was killed by what was inside, almost, maybe just change one thing. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and was killed by what was inside. Hmm. I really don't think a person would fit in that cauldron. And didn't they say it had never been unlocked before? If that's true, there couldn't have been anyone in there. Right. I agree. I don't think it was a person. Then what? I don't know. But you have to wonder why it was kept locked in the first place. I'm guessing there was something pretty bad in there. <sighs> Look, Mortuga died from a cut across his neck, not from some vague paranormal entity. Unless you're suggesting it was a vague paranormal entity with a knife? Did you get a good look at the inside of the cauldron? There was something I noticed. Scratch marks. <laughs> 